Uh, now, I want to return to it. Jurors heard bizarre confession from Murdoch himself involving an alleged hitman for hire scheme he set up so his surviving son could get millions of dollars from his life insurance. Murdoch originally told police he was shot by some unknown person after he got a flat tire. Special Agent Ryan Kelly of South Carolina Law Enforcement was called by the prosecution today to testify about the day Murdoch was shot on the side of the road. He testified how a sketch artist was called in to help capture Murdoch's description of the alleged shooter, but Murdoch later told investigators he had paid that guy, Curtis Eddie Smith, who was allegedly his drug dealer, to carry out the shooting. So you've identified Curtis Smith as the individual who shot you. Um, and y'all entered into an agreement, so y'all kind of were hand in hand in this. Um, Very much so. And, and he never tried to talk you out of it? I don't know. No, sir. I don't think he did. Okay. Did anybody know about this plan besides you and Curtis? No. Okay. All right. Um, and and, and, and uh, if you're all about done, let me put this on the record. Now, if you tell us the truth, I just want to make sure Ryan understands him and leading him on a very, uh, I mean, when. No, I did not tell anybody the truth until, was it yesterday? Yep. Until yesterday afternoon. Okay. I've been really, really sick, and um, it's really the first day where I had any coherence. So th there he is, sort of fessing up, Sarah, to what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, this isn't supposed to be the reason this evidence is admitted, but it looks pretty terrible for the guy that, right, like a couple of months after his, his, daughter, his wife and his son are killed, that he's concocting some phony effort to get himself killed? Mm -hmm. So look, uh, let, let me be fair. I know uh, Jesse's waiting for me to give him something here. Look, the um, jury's not going to like the fact that he sent these guys on a wild goose chase. He spent two hours on that sketch artist, yeah. right, knowing who he is. And the guy doesn't exactly But you like know who they hate Eddie. more for lying is the officer. That's far worse than a defendant. And secondly, uh, this is going to be a huge part of the defense case. This is what they are banking on to humanize him. This is a mea culpa when this guy is getting clean and treatment. That is exactly where you talk about your lies, your thefts, etc. Your, your effort to get someone your, to shoot you on the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, but, but, <laughs> no, but you guys, listen. S Sarah, listen. Sarah, in, in all fairness, I will agree with you. I don't think this should have actually been let in. Yeah. Right. But now that it is in. This plot came about after he got fired by his law firm. So the jury hears him coming up with this elaborate scheme. He can lie to investigators. Is that not the exact same thing he's accused of doing with Maggie and Paul? Very different. Right, right after the law firm finds out that he's stealing money, Maggie and Paul end up dead. So the jury is going to look at this and say, if he can do this on one time, What's the difference Very between different. doing that a few months ago? Very Why different, not? because at the time that Maggie and Paul were killed, he had access to money. He had a retirement plan. Hold on, hold on. He, he, he had unsecured loans that were available to him at Palmetto Bank. We had testimony about this, right? This time it's different. He's fired. His friend confronted him about. Hold on. The situation's I, worse, doesn't? But, but he's still. It's, no, it's a common scheme. That's why they're well, judge will put him I, out. I believe this is going to color the defense's case. They knew exactly what they were doing. Jim Griffin didn't just open the story. He knew what he was doing. He wanted this in. I don't think so. They were trying every which way to make sure this didn't get in. I, I think that was just setting an appellate it. record. That sure, but record. you think they want the jury to hear this? I don't think All so. Right. So while these two continue to go at it, we're going to say goodbye. Uh, you guys can continue debating the case. It was actually super fascinating. Sarah Azari and Jesse Weber, thank you. Banfield starts now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.